The Odd Pod. Odd Pod. Hello, welcome to another edition. Uh, today we go back into the Max Radio archives and bring you a programme that we first broadcast in 1998, featuring the late great David Collister and historian Peter Kelly. In this edition of Kelly's Eye, they're in Foxdale. Peter, what's Kelly's Eye looking at today? I'm going to surprise you, David. You think I'm going to say a clock face. But I I'm think not. you're going to say a clock face. No, I'm not. I'm going to say it's still raining. It's still raining. Ah, yes, underneath the clock face. Victoria is still raining. That's it. We're looking at a clock tower. People should have guessed it by now. And underneath it says, Vic- well, underneath the window beneath the clock, uh, Victoria R.I. reigned 64 years and still reigns in the hearts of her people. Below that again, a tablet um, at the top of which is 1901. Then it says, erected by the Isle of Man Mining Company Limited for the benefit of Foxdale. And it lists the chairman, directors, secretary, manager, sub-manager, engineer, that's Jay Nichols of Nichols... um, Onkin Laundry um, family, uh-huh. and then G. Whitaker, accountant, and Mr. Whitaker's family presented a seat, which we see over there on the left, and then underneath, very faintly, it says, renovated by donation, 1939, okay. but beneath that is another plaque, <laughs> <laughs> and I think we've gone from white marble to Yorkstone, and now we go on to, looks like a piece of metal, and it says, renovated, this is again, in 1992 by Department of Local Government and the Environment, and then it tells us who the minister was and who the clerk of works was. Why is it here in Foxdale? Because it was erected by the Isle of Man Mining Company for the benefit of Foxdale. Well, what it commemorates, and I don't know of any other thing that commemorates this it's commemorating the death or maybe more so the life Mm. thanksgiving for the life of queen victoria who reigned as it says for 64 years it was something provided for the district it's tall it's got a very large clock face on it and therefore for some distance around people could obviously tell the time now My knowledge of Foxdale is somewhat hazy, but obviously beside it has been a building, and I I don't know whether this was a reading room, and I don't know whether this was, in fact, built at the same time as the tower. In other words, Mm. it wasn't just the tower that was provided by the mining company, it was a a facility. Different type of stone, isn't it? it? It is a different type of stone, and what amazes me with the clock tower is all the coins, all the corners... I cannot work out whether they are bricks containing a lot of crushed granite or whether they are very cleverly cut pieces of granite to be the size of bricks. I I think they're manufactured, they're they're too regular to be anything else and therefore I say to myself, were they there originally or was it in 1901 a St John's brick which then badly weathered which is why these have been put in its place? I don't know, maybe there's somebody in Foxdale who, who does know the answer. What do you estimate the height to be? Oh, now you're asking. I've got to work in six feet, you see. <laughs> yeah. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, forty-two, forty-eight. Fifty oh, to sixty feet. Over fifty to the to the apex. Of course, it's got a, a, a roof on it, sloping in two directions, which, in its own way, whether it was ever intended or not, replicates the roof on the tower of um, St Paul's Church here in oh. Boxdale. If we just go a bit closer, interestingly, there are, over this um, main plaque, two lintels, are there not? Uh, one of them, at a higher level, seems to be just a piece of slate. It is a piece of slate, and then the bottom one is in granite, and it almost looks like two pieces of stone, mm. because there's a groove there. But it's, it's, it is one piece uh, running through. Um, Why the groove is in, I don't know whether it was intended just to split it in in appearance, but it's definitely uh, one piece. The other is not really a a relieving lintel or anything. I think it's just when whoever's been building it has had a large stone and uh, said, well, it looks nice there. I'll put put that one in here, (laughs) yes. Actually, looking at the um, 
local government. No, that is a piece. It's another piece of York stone. Uh, I thought from a distance it was metal, but it's not, so it'll last a lot longer. Well, with renovations and uh, reparations and what have you, it's still in very, very good condition now. Time on its hands, David. The Odd Pod. Odd Pod. The Odd Pod is available to download wherever, whenever you want, from Facebook, Twitter and Spotify. Or you can subscribe for free at manxradio.com.